when we got foreclosed upon, we were pretty desperate. We didn't. It, it was such a sad event. It was our first home, and it was it was it was wonderful having it. And um, I just I just miss it terribly. For a while there, we we were gonna be homeless, and we didn't know what to do because. You know, here I am going out to pick up my child, or my children at school, and the guy's on the front lawn auctioning off my home. And that was really, really hard. And it, it's been a hard transition um, with him. Um, he always says he wants to go back to Quincy and. You know, Eddie with his autism, he has, you know, he has troubles in certain areas of his life. But, you know, the more structure he has, the better. And um, he's doing well at school. Um, he's very smart. He's almost like Rain Man with numbers. Absolutely positive. Now tell me where Nana and Papa are in the Red House. What's their address? 48. 48. Yeah. 48. Now tell me, Papa, what the broken is. 425. Apartment number. 421. Yeah. 421. It is. Is it one? What about our friend Bob that we met at, at Papa's house? 910. Yeah, he's in 910. Apartment 910. Now, do you know where Tracy lives? Uh, 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 606 Pond Street. What? 606 Pond Street. That's right. Uh, uh, who else do we go? Where does Auntie Susan live? Boston. Yeah, what's her address? 743. What? 743 what? 40. East 40. Yeah, apartment number? Building. In? South Boston? Yep. Yeah. See, working on your sentence here. Yep. What do we have going on here? The school has been so warm and so wonderful from his teacher to even the bus driver. And um, he was like, Mrs. Russo knows a little bit about autism. She's taken a couple of courses. I think I'm going to put her, put him in with her. And I'm like, fabulous. That's just great. Um, so. He is in with her, and um, he's very attached to her. Pretty much from the time that he comes into school uh, in the morning, we um, we talk about his day. He has um, kind of a ten steps to school to get him to school that we actually started way back in September to kind of help him with his routine at home, what he needs to do in order to get himself on the van in the morning. And he shows us the ten steps to school um, all checked off when he gets to school, so that we know that he did everything that he was supposed to do at home. And the kids rally around him and help him, you know, remind him to take another bite of his lunch so even the kids without even knowing that they're helping him are helping him which is an amazing thing to see the kids be able to do well what do we say about packages around Christmas time I've been having some problems medically I have um, multiple sclerosis and I have um, my gravis and this disease it's very very rare called Chidiakagashi syndrome Hmm. And it's uh, left me, basically, uh, I feel like uh, wiped all the time. And um, I've been not able to drive, and um, they have just helped me tremendously.